Welcome back to another Kicking in the Neighborhood Drill of the Week. Today we're going to do one that we use in our individual workouts. One that when we have one player that comes in that wants a little extra attention shooting, um, maybe they're struggling with their shot a little bit, or they're just trying to build more confidence. This is one of our uh, go-to drills. We call it 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. This drill checks the game spots, game shots, and game speeds. This is not one you want to do with a kid who doesn't have some confidence already. You can certainly break a kid down here. This needs to be one of your good shooters trying to become a great shooter. At the very least, this drill becomes an excellent conditioning drill, uh, as you'll see throughout this, this drill here. It becomes also a red light, yellow light, green light shooting drill. Uh, we'll show that in the end when we score this. But this is one of those drills that if a player can achieve a certain score or time on, we're able to give that kid a green light in practice and in games. You got a passer, one rebounder. The shooter will begin at half court. The first part of this drill is a three. So three shots will be taken in this first session. Here you'll see Raven Baker come in. She's going to take a shot from the top of the key. And then she'll go to either one of the wings. She chooses the right wing. Third shot goes to the left wing. Okay, so on her three, make, make, miss. She missed one shot, so she kind of runs out of the camera here. After that third shot, because she missed one shot in that cycle, she has to run around one cone to return, okay? And today we didn't have her shooting free throws, but she would run to the free throw line where she would attempt one free throw. So in this drill, during her two, she got a two, make, and we'll say that even though it's not going to be on the video, we'll say that she made her free throw for the third shot. In the six, it's become six shots. So shot one, two, and three will be the same, in which she'll run around the appropriate number of cones that she missed shots, come back and take shot number four, five, and six to complete her six. So let's see how Raven does in this one. That's a miss. That's a make. So two misses. She's going to run around two cones and start now shot four. So she's got one make. Two makes. She'll again run around two cones and come back and she had three makes. See her run around two cones. So she had a three and again we'll say she made her free throw. Now she goes to her nine. Miss. Make. That's one make. Two makes. So she missed one shot. She'll run around one cone. Now she'll be taking shot four. She's got three makes. Four makes, five makes. Now we're gonna pause here because she's made five shots in this set. Since she missed zero shots within that set, she comes back here for shot seven, eight, and nine. That's make six. That's make seven. And that's a heck of a round right there. That's eight makes out of the nine. And she'll shoot the free throw. We'll say again, that was a make. So you see the pattern. In between each round, they run around these cones to simulate how many shots they missed. What you start to build here is importance of this clutch shot too. Because if you make the first two and you make all three, now you don't have to run around any of these cones. And if you made all nine, you do no extra running. So there's a little bit of pressure built in, a little bit of big shot. You want to go all the way through. We saw, we'll show you today on the video, and then you can do your own with the 12 and the 15. That just is adding more repetitions, more trips, where this shot would become shot 10, 11, and 12. And it'll become 13, 14, and 15 on your last round. The free throws in between get us to a nice round number of 50. We like round numbers. That becomes easy to compare head to head. So at the end of this, we're, Raven's already made 8, 11, 
about 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 shots, okay? If she can achieve a 40 in this drill, Raven would be green lit for that week's practices and that week's games. She can shoot it anytime she wants to in practice or a game because she's proven it on the court. If, she's only, if she can only achieve a 30, it's a little bit of a yellow light. It's one of those, it needs to be in rhythm. It needs to be on a kick out. It's got some time and score issues. If she can't get 30, if she can't go through this drill sometime during the week and, score, and score at least a 30 on this drill, doesn't need to be looking at shooting in threes in the games. So we use these drills to determine and give our kids confidence, but at the same time also we do it so that our kids understand shot selection when it comes game time. What you'll find out in the long term is your best shooters will understand they have to come in to get their green light license. If they have that, they can shoot it in practice. That protects them as well. Their other teammates aren't looking around like she's shooting it all the time. She's earned that through 3, 6, 9, 12, 15.